Welcome back, friends, family, people of the internet. Um, I'm here once again with my mom. <laughs> How are you doing this morning? Good. Love to be here. I love listening to things with you. Oh, thanks. Likewise. <laughs> so um, this morning, I uh, had heard some sad news. Yesterday, James Earl Jones passed away. Did you hear I that? I saw that. Yeah. And what, what a profound influence he's had on the world. He will be missed. Do you remember Abby Yo-Yo? Yes. My kindergarten kids absolutely thrived. He, they just felt such a connection with that. He, he was so gifted in so many areas, wasn't he? He was. So if you're, if you're not familiar, we'll have to do a reaction to his singing sometimes because James Earl Jones, believe it or not, was, had an incredible voice. So, uh, Internet, thank you for uh, checking out these videos and for posting comments. Um, the last video that we reacted to is a video by Pink Floyd, Time, and it's got quite the response since we were here last. Um, I'm going to read a couple of these comments to you. Okay. You can tell me what you think. Okay. So, um, Glenn Brock says, uh, that was great. <laughs> um, Jade Finch says, I just love that your mom joins you for these things. <laughs> and I love it. I, that was such a profound song last time. I loved it. It was profound, yeah. Um, hopefully we can capture it, the magic again this time. <laughs> uh, a couple more other comments I want to share. So uh, Phil Shorten said, uh, dude, you're remembering the recording of The Great Gig in the Sky, guest vocals Claire Torrey which is the track that immediately follows time. Oh, that would be fun so, to hear. Um, I actually uh, couldn't wait, and while Amy was in town, I did the, the reaction to oh, that song with her. Wonderful, wonderful. But I'll have to play that song for you. It's amazing. Um, Watchman70 says, You missed the mark a little, but I love how you speak to your mama. She's a doll. <laughs> Makes me miss mine. Oh, that is sweet. Thank you. <laughs> I Watchman, I, I miss your mom as well. I never met her, never met you, but I'm sure she was amazing. Uh, and then L Lubos says, I recommend going on a journey through the whole album from beginning to end. It's an experience for everyone. For those who hear it the first time, and for me who have heard it a thousand times, the first time was around 1975. I was 10 years old at the time, and I've listened to the entire album countless times since. And the older I get, the more often I listen to it. Boy, that speaks volumes. Um, he goes on. Uh, absolutely fantastic music, absolutely beautiful lyrics, and the whole thing is such a message, actually. By the way, it's the best-selling rock album in history. Almost 60 million units and has lasted an incredible and unbeatable 19 straight years on the Billboard 200 wow. album chart. It's almost unbelievable that it was written over 50 years ago. It's still so modern and relevant. I agree. Greetings to you from the Czech Republic, and I wish you both a great experience during the listening, but also beyond. Wow. I had no idea. Really appreciate that comment, uh, Lubos. Um and so, yeah, the certain bands, and especially Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon album, it, you're really kind of treading on, on sacrosanct ground mm -hmm. almost because uh, music is, I mean, it's, it's a temple mm -hmm. when it's done right. And mm -hmm. uh, it's, that's one of those albums that you can think of your favorite music from over the years, mm -hmm. and it really just takes on new meaning over the years and it never really tires. That's right. That's and right. Especially certain bands when you revisit them after many years of mm -hmm. of absence, it can take on new meaning mm -hmm. as well. And I would never have felt or thought that I would feel so connected with a genre that I didn't have any exposure to. And I'm a grandma and yet those words and the the melodies are just so c connective. Oh man, I, I'm glad to hear that. So I'm um, going to expose you to two new songs today that you probably haven't heard of. Oh, we're going to like, pick between one of the two, actually. Okay. So um, I'll give you the album title, and you can tell me which one of the two you'd like to to listen to. Okay. Um, uh, Disintegration is one album, and the other album is uh, Pale Communion. Hmm. I think I'll go with Pale Communion. Okay. You are in for a treat. Uh, the 
name of this band is Opeth. Let me switch over here to another view. Um, let me just play it for you. Okay. You can tell me what you think afterwards. Okay. This is the first song off of the album, entitled Eternal Rains Will Come. Let's get it. Can you hear okay? I don't think this is an official video. I think this is just like a fan-made video, but it, it, the imagery is cool. Mm -hmm. Love the song. Thank you. 
What did you think? Wow. <laughs> I wish that we'd had the lyrics up. Mm. Were they saying, there's nothing we can do, or there's nothing we can't do? Um, you know what? I am foggy on the lyrics, so that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the, the particular video was so effective because it, it was both pulling you in to one moment, but it was also so expansive out to eternity, which is so interesting to ponder because eternity, there's so much, and yet what we experience of eternity is right now that one moment and I, I don't know how they did that with the mirror image of things but that was very profound yeah I think that was a fan made video but um, it did accompany the song quite well mm -hmm. and lyrically I mean this band is does have some incredibly deep lyrics but um, just the overall mood and feel of this song and kind of they're fa kind of famous for their song structure they really most of their songs are longer. They have multiple parts to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm in love with this band. When I discovered them, I discovered they came to them late. Mm -hmm. Like they'd already had a few albums out before I um, became introduced to them. But wow, I was just absolutely blown away by the and, musicianship. and. Yes, and I was interested in, it began with kind of a, I wouldn't say explosive, but it was quite a, uh, a feeling of movement mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden it went down to this peacefulness mm -hmm. and uh, just pulling you into a more tranquil contemplative feeling and they really are expressive musically that that was wonderful so many different experiences within one song it was almost like different movements mm -hmm. of a symphony yeah and it's a great introductory track to the rest of the album and, it, and it, it, I mean it it kind of just opens the door and uh, introduces a, a mood or a, a feeling to invite you in for the what's to come for the rest of the album. Oh, that's wonderful, wonderful. So um, really appreciate the, the comments, Internet. Keep them coming because we're very genuinely interested in what you have to say. At least I am. Yeah, I am too. I am too. And it's fun to hear... A little more background on things. Uh, it is. I don't remember his name, but that was so interesting to hear how um, life changing that mm -hmm. album was for so many people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just very interesting. Absolutely. And so, um, once again, thank you very much for <laughs> reacting to a, a song with me. We'll be back. We'll be back another time with another song. Until then, <laughs> Keep on rocking in the free world. <laughs> we'll see ya.